Okay, the second game. Now I have black. First one was a draw. After I um, had some time problems with the totally one end game. Okay, now um, now uh, a Catalan. Yeah, he likes to. I likes to play G three there. I remember. Okay, let's go with some quick moves and um, not waste too much time. Yeah, this is maybe not the best setup in the world, but at least I could play it in 20 seconds. White has some um, nice space advantage. Yeah, I've got some counterplay on the a6 f1 diagonal though. The bishop um, is quite actively placed. Most likely um, he will sacrifice a pawn now. Okay, I can. Um, I could actually take on c4. It's uh, always difficult to assess, but I'd like to have a pawn at least for this position, which of course is um, somewhat passive. Okay, let's take the second one as well. Okay, well, maybe just knight c7. First, a6 was hanging, so I had to do something. Okay, now he's coming with um, knight g5. Try to get something going on the c file. Yeah, not, not much choice. I don't want to weaken the position. Yeah, this looks very uncomfortable to say the least. Ninety six simply threatens to win the queen at the moment. Hmm. Blah. It's really an ugly position. Most likely I have to give at least the exchange here. Yeah, if I play knight to b8 he might even go knight f6. This could this could work already. Yeah, I don't see I don't see anything else. Knight d6, of course, just wins the exchange. But knight f6, I take bishop takes f6. Knight d7, queen d2. Take on f6. Yeah, this could be a winning attack. Yeah, this was just a, a really crap opening that I played there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's check now. Do I have something else? Hmm. On 97, he also might simply play bishop takes f6. Hmm. Then I could, could could give the queen maybe, but wow, no, well, not much choice. I think without taking this, it's uh, it's over anyway. Okay. Anything else than taking? I don't think so. At least I only have. Ah, he's got rook e4 also. Bishop d3 then maybe, but. 
Ah, he's taking this first. Okay. Okay, queen d8. Rook e4 simply was the the deadly threat. Well, now I threatened to take the rook and threaten. Well, idea is to exchange the queen. Maybe I'm I'm still alive here. Maybe. <laughs> Still looks uh, dangerous to say the least. Queen h6 maybe. Take on a6. Bishop e4. Can f play f5 then? Yeah, f5. Yeah, I should really also ignore the spectators because they're kibitzing some moves here but <laughs> well yeah yeah I think he has to exchange really I'm not sure if this attack is really going through if he um, needs to retreat the queen I think queen h6 is not working because I can really take and play f5 then Oh, he goes for it. Amazing. Yeah. Well, if I don't take the rook, but I have f5. Bishop e4, f5 takes, and then covering the seventh with queen d7 or rook f7. I don't see it. Well, if he's got a mate, then he's played a brilliant game, so what can you do? Queen d7 now. Oh, look. Queen d7, I guess. What's coming now? It's a whole rook. And the bishop e4. Also prevents the rook from getting lift, lifted to g4. Maybe he needs to retreat the bishop now, yeah. And then try to, to get in the rook. I could go b uh, knight b4 now, rook e4 or rook e5. Takes rook g5, then rook g7, yeah. Hmm. Wow. It's still still far from easy rook rook b4 then rook f7 maybe yeah i need to speed up he just takes it okay Rook f7. It's, it's still awfully, awfully dangerous. Uh, at least the rook is hanging now. Yeah, but I have this covered really. I don't I don't see anything. Objectively it's just winning for blank now. Maybe I have rook F one with the counter attack now. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> I 
yeah, tough fight <laughs> in both games. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, you're welcome to leave any questions or comments in YouTube. And uh, please also check out the other video by King's Crusher. Bye. Mm -hmm.